Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, February 24th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 24th of February, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever this message uh, whenever you're guided to watch this message and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yes. Also, also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as everything is not going to resonate with everyone all the time. Yes. <sighs> Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, um, I recommend that you guys check out the Twin Flame live reading that I did yesterday. It is two and a half hours long, <laughs> um, but that's because, you know, there was a lot of channeled messages that I had for the collective that I gave, uh, and I did a, a combined collective energy check-in, and then I split it between the feminine and the masculine. It was a really good session. I'm really glad that I did it. I may bring back those Sunday sessions just because it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And that's how I started doing these twin flame readings anyway. Like it was Sundays were the day for me to do it. It just happened naturally that way. Um, so yeah, I might do that more often. Not quite sure yet. Anyway, I'm just gonna feel through it. But it was a good, it was a great session. Um, it's, I have, have a card. Oops. There we go up there in the description box not in the description box um i mean i can i can list it in the description box but you'll find it it's easy to find but i did put a card up here in the top right of your screen and also um there's probably going to be a link to it at the end of this reading at the, at the end of this video yeah also keep in mind that i am planning on going live today to do gemini's reading for the month of march at least gemini i'm not sure I might do Gemini and Cancer. I'm not sure yet, um, but that's going to happen sometime today. So keep an eye open for that. Um, and yeah, again, I hope you guys had a great weekend and I hope you have a great week moving forward. So let's just get right into it here. Let's get started and see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, February 24th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this a few shuffles and then we'll see what's on. Well, what's in the storyline for, for today? General messages for the collective. Morning. You know what? I want to go with a different deck. I actually. I want to work, I want to use the secret language of light today to start with. So that's what, that's what we're going to go with today to start, to get our morning messages, our daily guidance for today. I'm looking to do, I have an idea for a new series. That's just going to be just like a general thing. It's not an, um, so yeah, I have a new idea for something. Keep an eye out for that. But my intention with morning coffee right now, because as you, as many of you know, everything is shifting here on my channel, but, um, my intention for morning coffee is to have like a daily message, right? A daily, 
conversation, something to think about for the day. So that's what I'm, that's the intention I'm infusing into at least today's reading. We'll see. We'll see how that develops in the future. But yeah, I do have an idea for a new series. Um, so keep your eyes out for that one. All right, let's see. So for today, Spirit, what do we want to discuss today for our morning coffee here? I knew, good God, how, I knew that was coming out. Wow. Divine Masculine. Let's get some more, please, Spirit. Let's get two more, please. Okay, so we have Expansion, good. And one more, please, Spirit. One more, please, Spirit. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm going to take all of these. All right, overall energy is there is only light. So obviously, <laughs> obviously we're speaking to the Divine Masculine Collective, you could say that. Um, oh my goodness. Wow, look at this, you guys. This is, this is pretty, this is pretty nuts. <laughs> But either we're talking to, we're talking to the masculine, okay? And I don't even want to, I'm not even trying to say that this has, this is like strictly like twin flame or anything like that. Like, no. Okay, okay, yes, we talk about, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine all the time. But everybody has, like, in terms of twin flames, but everybody has masculine and feminine energy within them. Okay, so this, what this is talking about, what spirit is bringing forward is just information for the masculine collective as a whole whether you resonate with a twin flame journey or not like no i'm not really getting anything romantic here this is about expansion okay so the masculine energies the, the the strongest message that i get from this you guys is that masculine energies are being encouraged to expand being encouraged to let your light shine because in fact, there is only light. And some of you are really confused by that. Okay, we have transformation and we have soul journey. I mean, <sighs> wow. Um, so what I wanna say about this is that um, for the masculine, and I'm gonna speak I'm going to speak about this as if I'm speaking to you. So those of you that are, are more masculine in nature, those of you that are working on healing and um, integrating your inner masculine energy, I'm speaking to you as, directly, okay? You are, in fact, on a soul journey. And I think it's time that you start to understand that, quote, there is only, or, or yeah, there is only light, okay, and that you are, in fact, on a soul journey. You are a spiritual being having a physical existence, a physical um, experience, all right? You're going, you're, you're at the point where now you can start to go through this transformation, Okay, you can start to see clearly more than just the 3D that's around you. It's kind of imperative for you to understand that there is, in fact, more than just the 3D around you. Okay, you, there is more to you than what you've known physically. There is more to you than what you've known of yourself and the world in the three dimensional realms. Okay, and so. There is very strong encouragement for you to let your light shine, be your authentic self. And I guess we could say that I guess you are going through this transformative process and you are expanding. Okay. That's really what I want. That's really all that I want to say about that, because now I want to go a little bit deeper. I want to start seeing what's more here for you. So we're going to move to the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And you 
Yeah, for some of you, this definitely is your own inner masculine energy coming to the surface and, and promoting, promoting, yes, influencing greater expansion. Um, there's, for some of you, it's your inner masculine energy that is influencing you to really let your light shine. So there, for some of you, some of us out here that are more feminine in nature, you're receiving encouragement from your inner from your inner divine masculine energies to expand further and let your light shine to really embrace your soul journey your soul path whatever that means for you um there's definitely a transformation happening uh, on all levels especially as you embrace more of your divine masculine energy Okay, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then I want to look at expansion. What is this expansion here for you? What is this expansion here? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we have stillness at the bottom of the deck right now. Um, and the... Wow, there's a lot that's come out here. We have voyage, we have courage, we have going forward, we have happiness, we have truth, and we have relaxation. So um, there could be, <laughs> you could be going on a trip, okay? You do have voyage here. Could be going on a trip, but it doesn't mean uh, maybe going on a vacation, whatnot, whatever, um, on a retreat. But this doesn't mean that you're actually physically going on a trip. You could be. Uh, and it might be that maybe you need to go on some, take some sort of break, go on some sort of um, vacation or something like that. Get away somehow in order to facilitate this expansion. But ultimately, this expansion is is a voyage itself. You know what I mean? Um, and so we have, especially with going forward here, there is definitely an energy of moving forward, of moving on and having the courage to do so, having the courage to take this voyage, take this trip, go forward in some sort of direction. And for the masculine here, it's, there's very much, um, there's encouragement, there is a need or a desire even for you to expand in this way, to step out of your comfort zone because what you're moving towards is happiness. What is what is encouraged here is happiness. That is the reason for this expansion. It's about honoring your truth, okay, which is going to bring you happiness. It's about knowing the truth, all right? This, ex this, this expansion for you is revealing the truth to you, is helping you understand the truth that's leading you to greater happiness. You do have relaxation and stillness, okay? I feel like those are definitely two... Um, related cards. Now, it is in stillness that you will be able to find this greater expansion. So that's really could, it really could be encouraged for you to go somewhere or be in somewhere, be in some place that you can really just relax and be still and find your truth and find your happiness and allow this expansion to take place. Okay. having the courage to go forward on this voyage. Yes, for sure. All right, so with that said, I want to get a little bit of tarot here for you on this. Yeah. Yes, in diddly. One last shuffle. So let's look at this here. What is this expansion? King of Wands. <laughs> wow. Okay. Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. The Emperor. Holy moly. The Moon. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. So look, this is a slow and steady process. Okay, this is not something that needs to be rushed. We could very well be 
talking about twin flames or divine counterparts or at least the masculine energies within because we have both cards for me as a reader that represent the energies of the divine masculine at least when it comes to like a twin flame situation or something like that but again there's not really i'm not really getting romance from any of this this is not about romance this is about the masculine this is about the divine masculine expanding growing shaping himself up into who he's really meant to be okay we have the six of pentacles we have the eight of wands we do have the moon here but then we also have the ten of cups and the six of cups which is in reverse very interesting all right so this expansion that you're going through whether this is you as a divine masculine individual or someone that resonates dominantly as masculine or as the divine masculine or this could very well be your inner masculine energies okay so take this as it resonates this is a general reading um but there's an element of relieving yourself of some sort of past relieving yourself of some sort of nostalgia this could be deep what i'm kind of getting is deprogramming yourself with the six of cups in reverse and it's facilitating it's promoting some sort of happy ending ten of cups i know this sounds kind of weird <laughs> this sounds kind of weird but whatever it is that's in, that's been instilled in you from childhood is literally being deprogrammed you're releasing some you're releasing that i'm getting a sense of just releasing the karma Ooh, releasing the karma is what i'm hearing which is going to allow you to really get to this Ten of Cups, this happiness, okay? Um, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands and the Moon. I just feel like here, I'm hearing you don't see it coming yet, okay? You don't see it coming yet, but there's some sort of communication. There's some sort of reciprocity that's coming in. Um, that also really could be for the Divine Masculine here. Um, for you, if this is you or some sort of counterpart, the expansion that's happening here for you is seeing the illusion, or I'm sorry, seeing past the illusion of um, the balance or the give and take within relationships. It could be re a re yeah, this could be a re revelation, revealing how someone wants to have a more balanced or reciprocal relationship. It also could be. What I'm picking up on is you revealing to yourself how things, how your relationships have not been reciprocal. Maybe how the relationships you've been in with other people have been re haven't been reciprocal. I am getting specifically that for use for some of you masculines out there. It's been a very give, give, give energy where you've been giving and giving and giving and giving and haven't really been receiving anything back. It could also be. I mean, that was one of the strongest things that I was picking up on in that moment. But it could also be how you may have been just taking, taking, taking and not really been giving back. I just get a strong sense of someone starting to recognize this and starting to understand. And I'm hearing how their family structure has been like this and how that has set them up for destruction or dis yikes, disaster. <laughs> Mm. that's really interesting it's really really interesting okay so next what i want to do is i want to look at let your light shine but i just want to get to row from that one all right so let your light shine what can you tell us about let your light shine here please spirit wow Okay, Two of Swords, though. Interesting. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so here's the thing. There is apprehension here. There's definitely apprehension here. Okay, there's indecision. There's, someone doesn't really necessarily want to let their light shine because of, a, because of the social aspect of things. and it could it could very well be that the people that are around you right now would not necessarily accept 
you for who you are is what I'm which is what I'm seeing in this ace of cups here this is an express this is the expression of who you are having the unconditional love to love yourself for who you are and not give a flying fuck what anyone has to say about it oh my god I just recognized that um but I'm gonna I want to see I want to I do want to see what this two of swords means a little bit more but with this here okay and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is a this is the end of a lesson. So this is the end of a cycle like this for you. Or at least it's coming to an end. The, the, the expansion here, the transformation is, is, is leading you to letting your light shine and being who you truly are and reconnecting with people or connecting with people that are more unconditionally loving is what I'm hearing, that are more of your soul tribe. Okay, but I'm hearing you're going to have to let go of something first. And that's, I also feel like that's why this Two of Swords is here. So let's look. What is this Two of Swords, please, Spirit? Why is this Two of Swords here? What is this indecision? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I get it. So for some of you here, there is something that you've been working on. Yeah, especially for the masculine, like those that are more masculinely dominant. You've been working towards something or you've been you've been at something, you've been in a certain field for so long that now you're kind of like, I, I, I can't give this up. Hmm. You're also thinking about the repercussions of making this change. The chariot, wow. See, but ultimately, ultimately, whatever is going to be more in alignment with you, I feel like will win out. I just, I get the, I get a sense, I get a feeling, even though you might be here at the seven of pentacles within this energy of, you know, f at the precipice or facing a massive change in your life, facing a massive, I'm hearing a massive, a union developing. And I really kind of, I feel like you're, you're standing here at the, in the Seven of Pentacles energy, looking at everything that you've built so far, recognizing that it's unfulfilling to you, or at least not as fulfilling as you wanted, or it's not exactly what you need or want, or you're recognizing that there is something more that you want. But then you're looking forward and saying, gosh, I don't really know if I can make this decision. I don't really know if I can, like, what's going to happen when, if I make this change and it almost feels like it almost feels like you might not make the decision or at least you're questioning whether you're just questioning it right okay but ultimately with the chariot here your alignment with yourself is what's going to win out because ultimately this is the journey of your soul your higher self is in charge here your ego will lose out for sure <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, so what can you tell us? Okay. Oh, look. There it is right there. The hermit. It's at the bottom of the deck. Hi, Virgo. <laughs> but ultimately, your ego is not going to win out. Your higher self, your soul, your inner light is going to win. Ultimately. It's meant to. That is the progression. That is the natural progression, the change of your soul. Now, the other thing that I want to say with this Six of Cups in reverse, with the Ten of Cups, um, yes, it is talking about releasing old conditioning and the nostalgia and all that. But this is also talking about a soulmate relationship that is on the horizon for the masculine here. And with the Ten of Cups, it could be you could recognize that this Oh, actually, actually, I feel like it's the other way around. You don't recognize it yet, but you know that you want this Ten of Cups energy. Okay. I want to, um, I want to look at Soul Journey here. And just get, what is this soul journey here for us, for the Divine Masculine? 
I just get a strong sense, masculine, or for whomever this is for, um, you're starting to get in alignment with your soul purpose. I really, especially with the moon here, I really feel like you're starting to, you're starting to understand or uncover the depths of your soul. Um, you're starting to get into the mindset of accepting the fact that there is a higher power, that there is a higher purpose, that there is a higher part of you that is actually in control. You may really be going through some serious activations lately that are expanding your mind. Um, but with Soul Journey here, I just get a, a sense that, you know, you're starting to understand or recognize that there is a deeper meaning to all of this. You can't quite put your finger on it yet. You can't quite put your finger on it yet, but you're starting to, it's starting to seep into your, into your mind about that. The fact that this is like a, a bigger thing. Yeah, flow. Yeah, for sure. And then opportunity. Okay. So, um, what flow is saying here is I really, it really feels like masculine or whomever this is for that, you know, you're starting to go with the flow more. You may be, you may be connecting more with feminine energy, which is allowing you to really connect with your masculine energy on a deeper level and to start to accept the fact that, you know, there's more to it than what meets the eye. Again, I don't really think you're getting too deep into that, How? but I do feel like you're just, you're starting, you're starting to get into it. You're starting to be accepting of it. You're starting to just go with the flow here. And the more that you go with the flow, instead of trying to control, the more you go with the flow, the, 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 the greater an opportunity, the, the, the greater your chances of being able to really capitalize on this opportunity. What is this opportunity going to bring you? What is this, this soul journey going to bring you? Who knows? This is really nice. This is really beautiful. Um, okay, so I want to get... We're going to move to the Oracle section now. And I want to... Yesterday was the new moon, okay? Which is perfect, which is so perfect for this transformation to happen, to be honest. Because now, you know, you can accept new into your life after we have spent... The waning moon and all of that stuff and since the full moon releasing i mean we are in <clears throat> mercury is still in retrograde it's going to be retrograde until the 9th of march so this really is a perfect we've been in a perfect energy to really release a lot and let go of a lot and to now expand and get ready for the new right here okay so i'm going to get some oracle guidance from the moonology deck in terms of this expansion for the divine masculine and then i'm going to close the reading with the light worker oracle yeah so what do we have today spirit what do you want to tell us from this moonology deck in terms of this expansion this transformation this soul journey for the divine masculine, letting his or her light shine, um, understanding that there is only light. Ooh, okay. Okay, so you have, your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. All right, so with all the changes that are, are available to you right now, your commit yeah this is this is really i'm getting very strongly this is a really a this is a test of your masculinity this is a test of i guess i want to say your manhood and even if you're a woman or whatnot whatever this is a test of your commitment How, because the emperor the emperor commits when the emperor is balanced when the emperor is healthy when the emperor is positively aspected he makes a commitment and he honors that commitment, okay? So this really is an energy where, you know, your, your, your sense of masculinity, your sense of manhood, okay? If you're a man and you, and you resonate with masculine energy, or if you're a, a woman 
and you resonate more with masculine energy or if you're just working on developing and honoring and healing and balancing and integrating your own inter inner masculine energy it's being tested which means accepting principles of honesty, truth, integrity, commitment. Let's get a little bit more. The energy is gaining momentum is at the bottom of the deck, so that's exciting. What else do we can we say here, spirit? So for some of us here, through this next, like over the first quarter that's coming up, because we are in a new moon here. So throughout this time where we hit the first, as we're moving through this first quarter, or once we reach, by the time we reach the full quarter, like the first quarter of the moon, your commitment will be tested. So your commitment to this expansion, your, your commitment to this change that you're making, that's being influenced within you, is being tested. So this could be this could be a little bit of a challenging moment for you here. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And this is exactly what I was just saying. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. This really could be a challenge for you here. Um so you're this okay, well, all right. So this could this really could be a moment well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> new moon eclipse is at the bottom of the deck expect powerful change you're really being influenced right now to step your game up commit to your betterment commit to healing your masculine energy commit to healing as an individual if you are dominantly masculine there is a massive change that's happening here that's coming for that's coming into your life that you're being influenced towards and for some of you that are kind of going in kicking and screaming or involuntarily there could be some situations that pop up for you coming up that kind of cause you to question things or kind of cause you to to to, to work through or, or or start making this change for some of you this could have already happened you could already be in this energy and you could already know that there's a change that needs to be made and now you're being influenced to follow through with it to commit to it yeah wow you know what i want to do I want to get a little bit of tarot on that, and then I'll close the reading. Um, I want to actually, I want to look at step, uh, your commitment is being tested. So, if, and I want to get direct messages from the, from the divine here, from spirit. Just what do you have to say to, for us about your commitment is being tested? Last shuffle. Okay, your commitment is being tested. What do you want to say about that spirit? Well, shit. Oh, there's the moon again. That's very interesting. Overall energy is the fool. Okay, 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 okay. We have the two of cups, we have the page of swords, and we have the nine of pentacles. We have the moon with the knight of swords, okay? Both the moon and the knight of swords came out in the previous shuffle however i didn't mention the knight of swords because it was at the bottom of the deck but i saw it there it's coming out now um mm. look the masculine energies are really being influenced to step up We do have the Two of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles, which is telling me that someone is watching someone else from a distance be in independent and strong-willed and self-worthy, knowing their self-worth and just focusing on themselves, being who they are naturally. With the Moon and the Knight of Swords, what you don't know is that they really want to communicate. 
they want to reach out and say something. And what I'm getting with this in terms of your commitment is being tested. It's like, okay, you say you're such a big shot, right? You say you're such a man. You say you're so, you're so action oriented. You're rah, 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 this sis boom ba, like you're all this, you're all that. Well, now it's time to prove it. You have the opportunity to take a leap of faith right here, right now. The fool. Step out of your comfort zone. Take that leap of faith and communicate in the way that you want to. The moon with the knight of swords. That's what I'm getting with that. I mean, that's what spirit is saying. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to yourself, your commitment to your life path. Okay, so for some of you out there, mainly on the masculine side, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But for some of you out there, you have recently awakened to your soul journey. You've recently awakened to the fact that there is such a thing as a soul journey. Again, this is like what, what I was saying before. You are starting to allow yourself or it's starting to flow into your mind that there's some, there's more, there's way more out there than what you've known physically, three-dimensionally, corporeally, okay? So, but it's like now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to sit back and sit on your hands, rest on your laurels and be like, huh, that was a cute story and then keep it, keep it pushing in the same direction? Or are you actually going to step out of your comfort zone and take the wheel and take the reins and stay in alignment with your true self? I just heard trust the process. Are you, going to, are you going to continue to follow through with letting your light shine in the way that your soul is calling you to? Or are you just going to give up because it's too hard or uh, it, it's getting too messy or there's too much, there's too much turmoil and oh, I don't want to rock the boat. And blah, and, and, and. Expect powerful change, guys. Because the change is coming. Change is happening regardless. And I, I really do get a feeling that where it's like, it's, it's not even, <clears throat> it's not even, it's out of your control consciously. And if you feel like you do really want or need to control it, well, that would be your ego, right? This is all about, <clears throat> see now my, now my, I'm getting phlegmy. My throat's closing up. This is all about being in balanced and, and, and harmonious and healthy masculine energy. This is about untwisting your sense of masculine energy. Okay. Okay. Let's close the reading with the Lightworker Oracle. Let's see what your message here is for today to close out the reading, your closing message from the Lightworker Oracle. Last shuffle here. All right, closing message. Card number 33, Master Healing. And this is um, a number of the Ascended Masters. Yeah. Okay. As you meditate, remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path you become an increasingly powerful healer. You are here to live your own life, to be true to what genuinely moves you. This, un I'm sorry, the unconditionally loving guide and ma ascended master, Serapis Bay, comes to you now with a blessing of master healing to further your success on your path. The master, Serapis Bay, is, be is a beloved guide for those who feel a strong soul connection to ancient Egypt for healers who are developing their own modalities and those who love to work with high frequency concepts. 
he also assists with the translation of spiritual inspiration into practical worldly plans. He comes to confirm that the Ascended Masters are aware of you. You are an integral part of a powerful spiritual team that has taken physical incarnation to help awaken consciousness into love. You are asked to tune into your heart. What do you love enough to overcome any obstacle to obtain it? What motivates and inspires you? Not what seems possible or practical, but what is authentic. We are most powerful when we serve authentically from the heart. A bird might learn how to dive underwater from time to time, but is never going to be at, it, at, um, at its most powerful if it has to live underwater. It would struggle to thrive if it were to force it itself into such unnatural expressions of its life energy. The bird yearns to fly because that is its divine nature and purpose. You too have divine nature and purpose, and your heart holds the clue. What feels most like you? It is difficult to access the truth of your own nature when we believe we should live up to the expectations of others. If we are attached, attached to an outcome or afraid of an answer, we can unintentionally block our perceptive, perceptive faculties, a spiritual version of sticking your fingers in your ears and shouting blah, blah, blah. The blessing of Seraph's Bay includes his clear flame of divine cleansing light. This can assist us in letting go of whatever blocks us from knowing the truth of our nature. When we are willing to be who we are, the universe can more easily guide us to fulfill our destinies. Serapis Bay will help you see yourself truthfully. You may gain feedback from others that helps you understand the value of what you share, or you may simply find it easier to view yourself objectively with a compassionate, appreciative, and discerning inner eye. As you learn and accept who you are, you become a more powerful vibration for masters to put to use in the plan of love. If you have a dream in your heart, know that it has been placed there for divine purpose. What you dream and desire contains the seeds of divinity. It is meant to help attract your life mission and fulfill it with love, joy, creativity, and pleasure. If we are willing to go through what is necessary for an outcome, it will happen for us. The details may appear different from what we imagined they would, but the truth remains. If you ask for something and are willing to go through the process required to have that come to life, it will happen for you. The universe is that generous, unconditionally supportive, and loving of you. It is your creative partner. It will provide you with all that you need to manifest your dreams, desires, and destiny. Wow. Very powerful. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, keep an eye out because I'm going live for at least Gemini today. Um, I might be able to do cancer. We'll see because I have a few other readings beforehand that I got to do. So that's not going to be until later this afternoon. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.